And welcome everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for our first historic deck. That's right, it's the day they are uh, supporting historic now on Arena. We have events, we have ranked. Um, if you don't know about historic, it's another format where basically all of the cards that are legal or that are on Arena are legal, basically. So uh, it's like the the format that, that we just had at rotation with Ixalan through. Uh, Corset 2020, it was like that eight set standard. You have all of those there. Everything from that standard is legal. Plus, we now have Throne of Eldraine that we add to it. So it's like you have the nine sets to work from. Also with today, um, they they released something that they called uh, Historic Anthology 1, which was 20 new cards that were added to Arena that's only legal in Historic. And so what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be playing this new format um, and everything and, and playing decks with these 20 new cards. Um, we got five decks uh, so far for today. We'll see if we play more than that also. We may because we got about 10 hours left in the stream for today. We're doing a 12-hour historic stream. Now, right now, there's two ways that you can play historic. There's this historic anthology event, which is best of one, um, where you just play as much as you want. You It's 1,000 gold to enter. And you can win these cards, the card styles for these cards um, if you win games. And that's what we're going to start with today, just kind of get a feel for the format. We're going to just start with some best of one. Um, you may notice here that it does say that Nexus of Fate is banned in best of one. So that's interesting. I don't believe Nexus of Fate is banned in historic. So if you do best of three, um, you can play Nexus of Fate. But it looks like it's banned in best of one. The other option to play Historic is in Ranked with Traditional. So that's best of three. <clears throat> so if you want to play best of three, the only way to do it is in Ranked. And, you know, like right now, we're, we just made some, some brand, new, brand new decks and brand new brews. And we kind of, kind of want to test out the format. And so I don't really want to just hop into uh, Ranked you know, with Mythic immediately. So we're, we're going to uh, start with best of one. All right, our first deck up on the docket that we're going to be playing here is Zombies. And it looks like it went away. Where's my Zombies deck? Okay, so we got Historic Zombies. <clears throat> the reason why... Um, so, you know, I, I have a sideboard here too, but we're like I said, we're going to be playing it in Best of One. The real reason to play Historic... Uh, sorry, to play Zombies in Historic is this new card from... Um, Eldritch Moon is where this card was originally printed, but this was one of the 20 new cards to add here. Um, oh, that is true. Yes, you can also play Best of One Historic outside of the event. You can you can do that as well. Um, you just play, you just join the Best of One, uh, you just join the regular Best of One uh, standard queue, but with a Historic deck with cards that are legal and Historic, and it will just pair you against somebody else playing cards that are legal and Historic as well. All right, anyway, Crypt Breaker. Uh, it's just one black mana for a 1-1. One, one. You can pay two and tap it, discard any card that you want, and you can create a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. But then you can also tap three untapped zombies you control to draw a card and lose a life. So it's a good card advantage engine for zombies. You know, tap three zombies, draw a card, lose a life. It doesn't have to include the Crypt Breaker, and it's not like you can only do that once per turn. Like, if you have six zombies, you can tap three of them, draw a card. You can tap the other three, draw a card. So if you if you can get to, like, a battlefield stall with you and your opponent that can't don't really have good attacks, uh, you can just uh, sit back at their end step um, after you keep your blockers up and then start uh, tapping your zombies and drawing, drawing cards, losing life. We have the ability to go turn one Crypt Breaker, turn two Lazotep Reaver that can amass another zombie, and then we have three zombies. So turn two, we can just tap our three zombies, draw a card also. Um, so then, then, so yeah, we're going to be trying to go wide with the zombies. Our other payoff for going wide with the zombies is Death Baron, where all of our zombies get plus one, plus one, and have Death Touch, which you know basically means that it's going to be really hard for my opponent to win combats if all of my creatures have Death Touch. So that's a that's a huge thing right there. And then, of course, Liliana Untouched by Death, where we can drain our opponent out. Um, this is just a, one of my favorite cards to play. You know, plus one, um, we mill three cards. If at least one of them's a zombie, then they lose two life and we gain two life. So you can do that a couple of times. They, they lose life, you gain life while you sit back and have, um, you know, a big army that you're kind of amassing here. Um, it can be removal also at times, but then... You also have that minus three where you can cast zombie cards from your graveyard. 
you can you can get the zombie cards in your graveyard by discarding them to Crypt Breaker or of course by the tick up. But um, you know, if you untap with Liliana, you minus three, however much mana you have, you can cast a whole bunch of zombies from your graveyard. We also have Gruesome Menagerie to bring back some zombies. Um, we have one Cabal Stronghold to be able to add a lot of mana later on. We only want one because like with Cabal Stronghold, you want a whole lot of basic swamps. So we got a lot of basic swamps. Um, so that's why we're not really playing more Castle Lock Twains because we want a lot of basic swamps for Cabal Stronghold. Um, okay, so like let's uh, let's give this a try. So yeah, we got got this aggro deck here. Let's see how it does. Um, Historic's a very powerful format though. So the decks that we put together today may not be the best things. Like the things that you're going to run into right away on Historic are going to be like the best decks from the previous standard formats and especially decks that had like cards get banned. Um, so right away, you know, definitely expecting like Simic Nexus, but of course in this best of one, it said that Nexus was banned. But besides that, um, Kethis Combo should be really good because the Kethis combo from the last from that just rotated out, um, you know, with Mox Amber and everything, they get Oko now, um, so that should be a really good deck. Of course, you're just regular food decks with Oko. Um, huh, that's 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 new. Um, but then uh, like Field of the Dead should be pretty big because you get like the Field of the Dead deck in Standard that was banned. Plus, you get Elvish Rejuvenator in the Buddy Lands. Um, Esper Control with 5 mana to Fairy or Esper Hero. This is just the same thing. I don't want, I don't really want to go to 5. I don't think this, basically, I mulliganed the first hand because I had nothing to do until turn 3. They, we had no 1 or 2 mana cards, so, and we were on the draw, so I mulliganed it, but it's just the same thing here. I just don't want to go to 5. Yeah, Mono Blue can be back. They get some things like Mono Blue from the old format that that has um, like Brazen Borrower added to it. You have Orzhov Vampires or Night Aggro decks. So basically, like the the best decks from the la last few standard formats is probably what you're gonna start uh, start by seeing a lot, or start with seeing a lot. I don't know. That's what you're gonna see a lot of to start with. But we're going to be trying to build cards around the, the 20 new cards, build decks around the 20 new cards from the Historic Anthology instead to start with. All right, well, I guess my opponent thought I was taking too long. There's an Exile Zone animation now. So that's the thing about this event is you get you don't get punished at all for losing. And so I guess my opponent thought I was taking too long. They missed a land drop. They didn't like their hand, I guess, because they missed a land drop. I mean, they kept their seven. And so they just conceded. I don't think I should really count that as a win. Necessarily. Do y'all think I should write that as a win over here? I don't... I don't we didn't really do anything. Nah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't think so. So I had to lead with Diagraph Ghoul. Because otherwise Diagraph Ghoul would come into play tapped. Open your heart to the magic that dances around you. That's really annoying. They get a blocker. That's really annoying. We we're going to be able to kill that Oko. Now they have a blocker. Gaze into my face and put on your true shape.
That is quite annoying. You are fouler than a fiend. Uh, you're you're watching the very first games of us playing here, Frank. So yeah, I'm not I'm not exactly sure how performance issues are for the PC. I don't I don't know. We just literally just started playing. Too many lands. Alright, all right, I guess we keep count that one as a win, I guess. I mean... I guess. I think all the event games are going to be like this. So we should just go play Myth Mythic right now. Oh, good. Good call. I didn't update the deck list command. Thank you. I'll do that. It's up on Stream Decker, but I didn't put it in as the co the command. Oh, and I didn't, and I don't have Deckmaster up either. The thing is, is like pe people will be playing the. You know, people will definitely just be playing like the the tier one historic decks immediately, and I'm I'm not sure if these can really do that great against them. I don't know. I wanted wanted to um, kind of give this a try, but this deck this deck could probably you know we have a sideboard here. Basically, we get to play Ashiok. This deck could probably do just fine. Alright, so it looks like kept this combo again. Or by again, I mean for the first time, I suppose. Yep. No, we're not, not playing enough lands to want to play Witch's Cottage. Witch's Cottage is also not a, a basic swamp. A swamp, but it's not a basic swamp for Cabal Stronghold. Alright, we're just attacking, doing our thing. Oh, yeah, Kethis is much worse than Cat Oven Dex, is like how slow it is and everything. Oh, it's it's much worse. All right, Midnight Reaper. That's a good. That's a good one. So even if there's removal, we get to draw a lot of cards. Yeah, that's definitely a thing to do. Is just to scoop whenever the combo really gets going. Yep, that's definitely the thing to do.
That's a good point. That, yeah, they probably have Ruinous Blast for their removal. Hopefully you don't have that, though. So I, I have the ability to drain for two if we draw a Liliana. No, this is best of one. I don't think they're going to be playing Settle the Wreckage. So yeah, it looks like they gave Once Upon a Time an animation. We're pretty close to killing them. Need something that does like one damage. Oh, so that's that's just like the exile zone animation. That's just always going. All the time. I don't really love that. I can't imagine that's good for performance. Yeah, but if something's in exile, like just for like the whole match, like it's just gonna do that for the whole match. I don't know. I don't really like that. Just like this movement that, especially I'm, I'm looking at it from over here, so that's like that's that's pretty big in my vision, and I just I don't know. I don't like that movement going on the whole time. distracting Liliana Liliana no Liliana hmm Yeah, I don't I don't think there's an an option to turn that off. All right, that's game. All right, so they got they got two Mox Ambers here. They're just going to loop them and everything and we dead. Alright, they got all three of their Mox Ambers. So that once a, once upon a time hit the cat this. They were gonna just mill us out. Very boringly. This is gonna take you know five minutes, but Yeah, we were, we were dead. They could also win with Jace, too. Could win either way there. I 
Oh, I should have led with Curp Breaker because then I could have gone Lazatop Reaver. I was thinking like we wanted the, that into play first, but I had Lazatop Reaver set up. Um. I'll still go that against the Scorch Spitter. Yeah, combo looks to be a huge part of this. Like, historic, you know, if you're playing best of three historic, it's it's going to be all about combo. Kethis, um, between Kethis and Nexus and Field of the Dead. It's just what, what this format's all going to be about. Unmoored Ego is going to be a, just a main deck card. The game does seem smoother. You know, we've only played a, a little bit, but the game does seem smoother. Oh, Murderous Rider has a new animation. Murderous Rider has an animation now. No, we are not more aggressive than Mono Red Aggro, no. This deck is is has like more card advantage and a, a better late game and everything. Um, but no, we're not more aggressive than Mono Red, so Mono Red's not a great matchup for us. This game started off pretty well for us. But I wouldn't say that Mono Red is necessarily good for us overall. I really like the 20 cards they added. They didn't just add generic good cards to go put into your existing decks. They put, you know, they added cards that you want to build around and make new decks for, and so I'm I'm all for that. I like the cards they added. So these are just trade. I think I'm fine with that trade. They're gonna trade because of castle. Is this? Did that have that? That didn't have that border before. That was just a waste of a bone crusher giant. They could have just activated castle. I, don't know. I guess if they activate castle, then they don't get to play the bone crusher giant though. I would like to play Midnight Reaper and block mid I would like to just block Bone Crusher Giant with Midnight Reaper. That would be the, the best case scenario. But if I play Midnight Reaper and then they draw shock and they shock Midnight Reaper and hit me for four, that's like worst case scenario. So the problem with playing Midnight Reaper is you get either the best or the worst case scenario. Just using Murderous Rider is like a middle of the road scenario. And so I guess I'll just do that. All right, two and one. 
Um. All right, cool, Av. I'll see you. Uh, let's see. You need to get it. You want to get a deck to me? Uh, you gotta post it on a site like that. All right, we got the Sarah Ascendant card style. I kind of feel like this deck may be ready for... I think we may do some best of three ranked with this deck. What's my sideboard look like? Some of these other decks I'm not as as confident in. We'll do we'll do a little bit of best of three with this deck. Let's see how it goes. This one and the Gruel Agro are the ones that I think are the best right away. These these decks are more speculative. The ones in the middle. Well, the the Sultai one would probably be fine, but the the Esper and the Abzan, those are really just built for best of one. Because, yeah, we, we are having some opponents just kind of concede pretty early. We'll play some some matches with a little bit more on the line. This is, yeah, new avatar that just came today. It's just like a soldier. I don't know if there's like an actual name for this person or if they have like a card or anything like that, but it's, uh, or he's a knight. It's part of the knight bundle. Yeah, yeah. The only way to play best of three historic is in ranked right now. Just do this right now in case we draw a two drop. Okay, we did not. But, you know, we could have drawn a two two drop there. Okay. So they look like they're Golgari Adventures. That's what it looks like they're doing, which I don't really have a sideboard for. Cast down legions and noxious grasp. Those are the cards that are ones that I could play. I don't think we need them though. a good Crypt Breaker hand that we can draw a card this next turn to help us hit that third land drop. Alright, so they are adventures. So I kind of wish I had a Legion's End right now.
No lands? Hmm. <laughs> three mana, five five draw three seems fine. With the arc not so sure side, about that. I can't lose a fight. Watch out, they bite. Yeah, it looks like my opponent's just playing a standard deck. So I attack out, this blocks Midnight Reaper, then they block, the, this thing blocks Diagraph Ghoul, and then they just take four. I draw two cards. Draw three cards. All right. All right, so our historic deck, uh, Cabal Stronghold, like why why Cabal Stronghold seems useless? Well, we have Liliana. Liliana minus three allows us to play all of our zombies from our graveyard. So like we have a reason to want a whole lot of mana. Yeah, that's that's just a knight. I don't know if that knight has any name, but we have a we have a knight for an avatar. All right, so our historic deck beat a standard deck. That's a good sign. Opponent taking a mulligan. All right, I don't have anything to do on turn two, but I think we're on the draw. Yeah, we are on the draw. So maybe we'll draw another one or two drop for turn two here. That's not a one or a two drop. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. It's not poison. Trust me. Truth. All right, looks like they won this. 
Surely you see the humor here. It's kind of sad that the game's already over. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, <clears throat> I will be making model black control, yes. I mean, not today. We have we have these decks for today. But yes, that, that is a deck that I will be playing. Your new look is enchanting. Fairness? What a bizarre expectation. I am... Oh, I guess... Okay. I'm pretty shocked they didn't... Pretty sure they didn't attack with more, but I guess they wanted to protect Oko. Yes, yeah, so they changed the border on these unhinged lands. No, they couldn't keep questing beast and keep Oko. All my creatures had death touch. I invite you to change your ways. Death Baron gives my zombies death touch. Oh, I had I had four mana. Oh, I should have played Liliana, not Midnight Reaper. Liliana could have killed the Questing Beast. Should have done that. For some reason, I thought I had five total mana, not six. I don't. Behold, nature's true power. Wait, that's good for me. Gaze into my face and put on your right? Like that means I don't have to take a whole bunch of damage now from things trading. That's fine.
The etchings prove my immortality. So sorry to give you a fright. My only ways to remove Planeswalkers in the main deck are our Murderous Rider, and obviously Murderous Rider costs two life. That's not spectacular. That's a good top deck. That's a pretty good top deck. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Thanks. Thanks, Croconeal. I invite you to change your ways. I guess it's lethal. All right, turn two, Oko. Still really good. Yeah, that obviously the the questing beast draw. On that top deck got me. I was about to start doing some good stuff because you know, like my Liliana was gonna be able to, you know, gain me two life a turn, and then I was gonna be able to play Gruesome Menagerie the next turn. So I was gonna be able to tick up Liliana, gain two life, play Gruesome Menagerie, get a whole bunch of things back. But they didn't have that haste questing beast for that turn. We were gonna do some stuff. Yeah, I like the Lily Walker too. Yeah, if I had one more mana, I could have cracked the egg. Yep. Um. I think I want this Legion's End on the play to exile their their turn one mana creature that they're going to play between Land War Elf and Gilded Goose with Once Upon a Time. They're always going to have it. Yeah, Historic, it's a, just a different format. Like, um, it's... It's all eight sets that were in last standard format where we just had the rotation a little bit ago, plus Throne of Eldraine. So basically, basically everything on Arena is legal and historic. I don't want to put any of these back. I want my one drop, two drop, and then these things. I guess. I just hope I draw a land in the first two. Yeah, the knight bundle comes with this avatar. Uh, should have put back Death Baron. We got to draw land. Come 
on. That's why you don't put back the land. That's why you don't put back the land. You have got to be kidding me. Obviously, if they have more Wicked Wolves, we're, we're going to die. That's fine. I just can't deal with more Wicked Wolves, because the Wicked Wolves kill the Death Barons. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, we have a we have a good amount of cards from past expansions. Like Death Baron's one, Crypt Breaker is a new card for just historic anthologies. Or if you're talking about my opponent's deck, looks like all we've seen so far is Lanwar Elf.
So they have to block... They have to just block across the board, don't they? Because, yeah, they can't let two creatures go unblocked. So that means three of my creatures will die. This means I'll go to five. But their entire battlefield will be gone. I guess I could lose all four creatures if they block Foulmire Knight. Alright, so we go to four. So hopefully they don't have Questing Beast. Hmm. Those are not very good draws. So this would just turn this 1-1 one, one into a 2-2. Two, two. Mm, we'll just play this thing. Basically, play the card that costs two mana instead of the card that costs one mana. Obviously, they had Questing Beast. Hey, we actually drew a removal spell. How about that? It's not like... It's not like my deck didn't have removal spells. Finally. Okay, we're going to game three. <laughs> yeah, we finally got a removal spell. All right, on the draw, Legion's End's going to be kind of too slow. I guess it's good against Krasis, though, too. You know, like I had, I had it in there to exile the mana creature, the ter their turn one mana creature. Um, cast down's good against Wicked Wolf, I guess. You know, can be. Yeah, we could try. We could try a drill bit to try to take one of their top end cards. I think I'm going to play a cast down. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad they added in the, the Murderous Rider animation. That's pretty cool. Uh, this isn't great. Like, they, they kept so fast... They gotta have just turn two Oko, right? Like they're on the play again. They were on the play game one and had turn two Oko, so they probably have turn two Oko again. I wanna see if I, we can find Noxious Grasp. No, we did not. Why do we have to only have like three drops in our hand again? Why can't we spread it out? Not turn to Oko.
I don't really like how that uses my mana, and I don't really like how that's my Planeswalker removal spell. But I also don't like passing and then and then uh, expose our our draw to Veil of Summer, either. So basically, I didn't like anything there. No, yeah, nothing's banned in best of three historic. Rise, my elemental friend. I couldn't use Noxious Grasp there. I need to be able to kill the, the Nyssa. Okay. Yeah, this is... A Yara, Gutter Bones, those are not zombies. This is a zombie deck. Yeah, hey, what's up, Yud? Yeah, we got Historic today. Still working out some kinks for sure in our deck. Um, possibly we need more like Disfigure. Instead of like Cast Down, maybe we need Disfigure uh, so we can have something on the draw to kill the, the one mana things. And maybe we just need four Noxious Grasp in the sideboard also. Okay. This is unfortunate. This is a good hand. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, vampire deck would work in historic. Like how we had the vampires and stand. It'd basically just be the standard vampire deck for the most part. I think I have to put back Liliana, but that's sad. I like Liliana. Yeah, Gutter Bones is a skeleton, so Gutter Bones does get pumped by Death Baron. Oh, how original. Oh. Another Oko deck. Oh, it's not an Oko deck. It's Field of the Dead. All right, well, that's different. Oh, they just played the turn one forest. Wouldn't they want, like, the Selesnya Gilgate? Okay, they're doing that. That's why they played the Turn 1 Forest. Yeah, Elves has a lot of good stuff. But yeah, exactly. Like, with Crypt Breaker, you need zombies. So yeah, like, um, Gutter Bones is not a zombie there.
<laughs> so we have... I think I just have three Ashioks in the sideboard. Yeah, I got three Ashioks in the sideboard. Yeah, if they have time wipe, I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna force them to have time wipe though. Put them down to one. I need this Liliana back. Liliana can drain him for one also. All right, they had the the sweeper. If they didn't have the sweeper, they died. But they did. Now Liliana could drain him for one. That'd be my best card to to draw. Alright, they gained a bunch of life. Alright, well this this game was all about did they have the sweeper? And they did. Yes, you can play a Nexus deck in best of three. It's it's banned in best of one. But you can play it in best of three. So they can kill one of these creatures with a double block. They're never playing this Realm Cloak Giant, which makes it seem like they just have another sweeper. Hey, thank you so much, Delport. Addy Delport with a couple of gifted subs. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, all right, well, 
Still lagging a lot. There's six subs today. All right, so we want to see how the update um, helps performance issues. Doesn't look like for my computer. Doesn't look like it w helps. So it looks like we're gonna have to be um, purchasing a new computer. Okay. I'm not sure if I actually want Legion's End, honestly. Yeah, hopefully. Hopefully we would win before field comes active. That would be nice, but... May not be the most realistic. But that would be nice. All right, so we got the drill bit that could take a sweeper this time. Best card to draw is Ashiok, of course. Double syncopate? The fairy? We need to stop drawing swamps. Stop drawing swamps. Hey, Wrangler, going good. Excellent time. Playing some historic here. I'll protect you.
All right, certainly hoping they didn't draw another sweeper. No sweeper, no sweeper. Play circuitous route. Concede. Sorry, I'm late. So, of course, I played the Foulmire Knight instead of the, the Diagraph Ghoul because the Ghoul comes into play tapped, which doesn't work as well with. Cryptbreaker. So, yep, yeah, you can play. Yeah, we're playing ranked right now, as you can tell. Yeah, you can have ranked on historic right now. Bleh. Why do we have to draw all these lands? Boo. Ten lands and sixteen cards. <laughs> we basically just had like those five cards that we put our opponent down to four, killed two Teferis, got rid of a sweeper. With just those five cards. We just drew, you know, seven lands and and two spells. Um, for our first nine draw steps. So that's unfortunate. Really wanted to play a good match. You know, we, we had good stuff. So we came really close to winning that. You know, like they had to have the sweeper both times. They did. The second time they had to have two sweepers. Um, so yeah, you know, like our sideboard's still in flux and everything, but I, I liked what our deck was doing. Let's play one more game, but I don't really want to play another best of three game. Let's just play another anthology event game. I just want to play like one more game, but not like a long match. Play against like a, a control deck and it's like a long match. Let's just play one game. It's possible these gruesome menageries aren't really that necessary, but if we if we imagine like that last game, if we would have had gruesome menagerie, our life would have been better. All right, we need to draw two lands for Liliana. We never, we haven't really gotten to do anything cool with Liliana. This is like, you know, like really our our engine card here. We haven't had like a turn for Liliana ever in any of these games. So it looks like my opponent's playing Phoenix. I think maybe Kiln Fiend.
Hmm. I would like to draw a card to try to help us get to Liliana, but if they just have like removal for Diagraph Ghoul. Yeah, those, those, yep. Those games against Field of the Dead, we really didn't draw our Planeswalkers. You know, game, especially game two, I had six Planeswalkers. Couldn't find those to finish games out. So I could play Foulmire Knight and Lazotep Reaver and have more defense for Liliana. You know, I want to get Liliana in play. We just haven't played Liliana at all yet. I want to play Liliana. So we're going to do it. Cool. Good job, Blind Prophet. You've gone 4-1 with it in the event so far with this deck. Awesome. Good job. No, with with best of one, Nexus is banned, and the the I played three best of three matches, and none of them were Nexus. I mean, well, Liliana's not dead. We already drained him for two, and Liliana's gained four life from the three from the Lightning Strike and one from this attack from the Dreadhorde Arcanist. So Liliana just gained us nine life. And also put a 3-drop into our graveyard for Gruesome Menagerie. So that was pretty good. Yeah, Liliana took 9 damage, made them lose 2 life, and put a 3-drop into my graveyard. Yeah, I thought they were killing Fiend. Yeah, new avatar. Um, this is a knight. This is part of the knight bundle. Did anybody figure out if this knight um, has a name? Or is on a card or anything? This is a acclaimed contender. I 
I don't think it was a claimed contender. Yeah, you also get a, a cool sleeve with this one too. With this too. It's Youthful Knight. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's Youthful Knight. Well, their Kiln Fiend didn't have Trample. I value moral flexibility. They gave a double strike, but didn't not have trample. All right, so there we go. We played seven games, seven matches, a mix of best of one and best of three. That's our zombie historic deck, though. I liked it. It's a fun, um, a fun one to play. Yeah, it looks like while performance is a little bit better, it's still not good enough. It looks like I, I'm going to need to get a new computer. Um. Anyway, there we go. So. Historic Zombies, uh, Crypt Breaker was awesome. That was a fun card to play. Um, you know, being able to tap your zombies, draw some more cards. I probably we probably need a little bit of inter little bit of like main deck interaction, a little maybe a little bit more than Murderous Rider. Um, I'm not so sure about the Gruesome Menageries. They're they're okay, but that's that seems like maybe just a one of instead of a two of. Um, this format seems like Ashiok's going to be really important with Field of the Dead and Kethis combo kind of everywhere. And it may just be that Ashiok's a four of. I have two Phyrexian Arena for like the Esper Control matchup. Um, but honestly, maybe we're okay in the Esper Control matchup. So that's probably just like a one of and then a four of. Because you, you just really want those Ashioks against Field of the Dead and Kethis combo. Um, talked about... I would like another Legion's End, and I, I wouldn't mind another Noxious Grasp either for the Oko decks. I have Cast Down for, like, other aggro decks. But I guess Legion's End's good against zombie tokens and everything, too. So you just kinda, we're just going to have to, like, play a bunch and just kind of see what to do with, like, these different uh, sideboard slots with, with everything there. I love Drill Bit. It's possible this should just be... We should have, like, a couple Drill Bits in the main deck. Like, there's not really decks that Drill Bit's bad against. Um... But there we go. First historic deck. This is going to be fun there. Uh, Big Liliana, I think, is a little too expensive for this deck. Like, this is a pretty aggressive deck. And yeah, I think Big Liliana is too expensive. Um, but yeah, the, there we go. So first, first run at historic, uh, I think, is a success. All right, for those of you on YouTube, uh, you know, hit that like button. Um, leave some comments. Let me know what you're playing in historic. How, how do you like this zombies deck? Um, you know, all that kind of stuff. I like the format. Hey, Triton. Uh, yeah, sideboard plans are always dicey in a new format. So don't expect it to be perfect, but I like what we got going on. I think two really important cards are Ashiok and Unmoored Ego, because there's a, I think there's going to be a lot of combo and stuff there. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Dents. Um, hopefully your day is going to get better now here on the stream. No, Icon of Ancestry, no, this, de this deck doesn't really need Icon of Ancestry. Um, and it's, you know, it's not an actual zombie. No, it's, it's kind of too slow. Yep, we're going to move on to our next deck. So there we go, that's Zombies Historic. Those of you all on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.